Crankworks is a mountain biking world tour which encompasses all of the sport's major disciplines. The series dates back to 2004, and over the years, it's been a showcase for the best all-round riders to display their skills. The four-stop 2018 Crankworks series got underway in Rotorua, New Zealand. This was the first time that a dual slalom competition had taken place in an event outside of Whistler in Canada, the birthplace of Crankworks. I didn't know how it was working, so I cruised on my first one. The formula is straightforward. There's two racers, two courses and jumps. Throw in some gates and then spice things up with technical features like rollers, ruts, flat corners and more jumps. At her very first Crankworks appearance, UK downhill specialist Tani Seagrave shows she can also rail the small bike, claiming bronze. It's worse than downhill, honestly. Downhill's like, what, 10 times as long? And I, I can't breathe. <laughs> US BMXer turned downhill biker Kilani Hines used her explosive speed to claim silver. I really like the track, so I'm a little tired, but it's uh, really fast and fun. I just was like, be consistent and fast and then try to stick with Jill as much as I could. It was the reigning queen of crankworks, Jill Kidner, who emerged victorious here in Rotorua. In the process, the American extended her dual slalom winning streak to six. Yeah, this is like maybe one of the sprintiest slaloms I've ever been in. Like it's pretty flat, you gotta like pedal everywhere and really concentrate because there's not much in it, you know, so. The men's dual slalom event had all the close calls and close racing you'd expect from such a high quality field. And there were some surprises too, such as the reigning King of Crankworks, Adrien Laurent of France, not making it into the round of four. Luca Cometti claimed third place, whilst fellow American Kyle Strait, maybe benefiting from his new personal dual slalom track at home in California, took silver. I wasn't prepared for the amount of sprinting that was here, so I wasn't really expecting too much, but to come out in second, I'm super stoked. And coming out on top was Czech rider Thomas Slavik. You're entering those turns so fast, so you need to really calm down, break, and go through it, and then start pedaling for the finish line. So that's the kind of a key to stay calm there. Everyone was here, and I was, it's always nice about Crankworks that we all meet at one race, at Gold Slalom, for example, and we race against each other. It was good fun. In recent years, the air downhill format of racing has grown in popularity. Riders jump for show and corner for dough. You need to be fast, low and preserve momentum. Staying away from the brakes and pedalling at every opportunity is the path to the podium. Swiss downhill specialist Emily Siegenthaler secured third spot, with second place going to Via Verbeck. It was the Canadian's second Crankworks podium here in Rotorua, and she could be in the mix for this year's Queen of Crankworks. But Jill Kintner will not give up her crown lightly. The 36-year-old took another victory here in the air downhill on a track which had all the riders in Rotorua purring.
It's pretty fun, super fast at the top, actually insanely fast, and then a lot of like um, tight corner too, and so it's a mix of crazy fast and uh, good jump. In the men's air downhill, there was less than a second separating the top three in what was a thrilling competition. Czech rider and former king of crankworks Thomas Slavic powered into third. Home rider Matt Walker claimed second. And 34-year-old Mick Hanna showed that when it comes to riding bikes downhill fast, age is just a number, with the Aussie finishing in first place. expected it to be a little bit more physical, but it's actually reasonably short, especially compared to Whistler, and you can just smash it all the way. Under the lights, the whip-off championships took place. Riders start at the top of the jump line and perform their best whip in front of a panel of judges. The whip, derived from motocross, is the action of kicking out the back end of a bike sideways over a jump. Uh, you know, it's a big old party out there, just boys getting sideways, upside down, every which way. This thing is the most fun jump, I think, on the planet. This impressive spectacle was once just an exhibition display at Crankworks, but it's now an official event with valuable king and queen points. The whip-off proved hugely popular with the excitable Rotorua crowd. Amongst the women, Switzerland's Alexandra Wogenzinger was third and New Zealand's Vinnie Armstrong second. Canada's Casey Brown took home her fourth whip-off title, maintaining her undefeated status in this particular event. On to the men, and a third place for Tyler McCall. Those two were unbeatable, so I was just trying to get third, because I knew I couldn't do any better than them, so I'm pretty happy to be uh, called up for third. Second place went to Crankworks newcomer Chaos Seagrave. And Rotorua whip-off champ was America's Ryan Howard. No, I don't know. You just turn your hips, look straight, it'll, it'll happen. So the 2018 Crankworks season got underway with some incredible action. The next Crankworks event takes place in Austria in June.